everybody it has been ages it's been ages since i've done one of these videos and i'm super excited to be doing this particular video because it is getting to that time of the year <laughs> if you know what i mean it's coming up to the silly season silly in a good silly way not a bad silly way of course but the silly season means that there is um some different types of foods that may start to appear in your refrigerator or in your oven and then of course onto your uh, dining table so i thought i would do uh, this video because i have just finished writing and i'm so excited about this i've just finished writing a healthy christmas uh, digital ebook so it's an e-cookbook inside that uh, that thing that i've just finished writing this wonderful christmas recipe book all healthy of course so gluten-free sugar-free uh dairy-free and um very low in fat and in that digital e-cookbook that i wrote there is 31 recipes for you so that's a recipe for every single day of december that's what i was thinking and i have um, put this cookbook together this e-cookbook together and i'm gonna give away five copies of that e-cookbook today so if um, you would like to go into the chance to win a copy of my e-cookbook 31 recipes um, sent out to you just let me know in the comments below if you would like a copy of my uh my wonderful i call it by the way this uh e-cookbook i call i wish you a merry no sorry <laughs> i can't remember i wish you a healthy christmas so there's 31 recipes in there but i realized as i was writing uh yes barbara i am uh they are some of them are fat recipes definitely they aren't all fat recipes they are a collection of recipes but of course there's fat recipes and i don't even want to say they're just fat recipes barbara they're healthy recipes so even if you are on the program there's some stuff in there that you can eat if you are in maintenance there is stuff in there you, that you can eat or if you just want to feed your family something healthy and delicious then those recipes are in there as well so if you'd like to go into the draw i'll draw it um, in 24 hours from now so what's that wednesday at whatever the time is in australia can't see the time two wednesday 2 p.m i will draw five winners from the comments below this video and you can go that's wednesday the what's the date today anyone can tell me can anyone tell me what the date is i don't have any idea i just know it's tuesday <laughs> i'm shocking aren't i um so yes if you would like to win a copy of my 31 recipes for a healthy christmas some are um program compatible all are healthy 100 percent healthy let me know in the comments below but the reason why i'm doing this video is because i realize uh 13th of november thank you ladies 13th of november is that today or tomorrow oh it's today <laughs> today it's actually my niece's birthday today barbara it's your husband's birthday you didn't forget good on you <laughs> good on you it's my niece's birthday i've got twin nieces um they're 23 <laughs> they're probably gonna growl me for not remembering but hey i remember it was their birthday it's the 13th of november so tomorrow the 14th of november we're gonna draw i'm gonna draw from the comments below if you'd like to go on the draw just let me know in the comments below yes i want to win this digital cookbook healthy Christmas right one of the recipes I did not put in that cookbook was how to glaze a healthy ham or how to healthy glaze a ham is probably the best way to put it so I thought I'd do this little quick video show you how I like to glaze a ham but I'm definitely doing it a more healthy way so it's really exciting that I'm doing this as well because ham is definitely an integral part of Christmas for so many of us and I think about the cookbook that I put together that the digital e-cookbook is um, there is recipes for a healthy I've got a healthy lamb roast like the perfect healthy lamb roast i've got different types of desserts of course pavlova is there i've got trifle in there i've even got custard in that cookbook guys so there's lots i think there's like 17 healthy treats recipes so the sweet stuff without the sugar of course but there's also um party food so things that you can serve at parties how you can be really really healthy when your guests come over or if you just want to have nibbles so there's snack food there's party food there's main course dishes like i do show you guys how to make the most amazing prawns there's lamb in there uh, i've got a whole barbecued salmon how to cook the most amazing whole barbecued salmon plus i've got 17 or 18 different healthy treats so I hope you guys are into that little competition, which I will draw on the 14th of November at 2 p.m. Australian time. And I'll let the winners know by contacting them, contacting them on their Facebook Messenger. So let's get into the recipe. I have digressed 
far too long. So we're doing ham today, glazed ham, healthy glazed ham. So the first thing we need to think about is um, the ham. So I'm gonna turn the video down here, which has got my little ham sitting there waiting to show you guys. Here we go, apologies if it's a little bit uh, blurry. Let me get you closer, closer, where are you? Can you see that, is, can everyone see my ham there? Can you see it? Can you see it? There you go, all right, so. I have my ham here. Now I've only actually got just, this is just a very small, this is actually a quarter of a leg of ham. Fully, this is a triple smoked ham that I bought. Ooh, go live. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. Am I back? Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. I think I jumped out for a second, but I'm back again. So we're talking about this. This is a fully cooked um, ham. You can, of course, um, buy yourself a raw piece of um, gammon. But um, to make life a little bit easier for me, I have gone with a fully smoked ham um, on the bone. You can see the bone in there. And this is just a quarter. This is just a small um, little bit of ham. It comes complete, of course, with, we call this, well, the skin or the rind. I'm going to remove that rind because I need to access what's underneath it so we can actually make you know that that ham we can glaze it up so the best way to do that is using clean hands I'm just gonna um, literally run my finger underneath the rind and as I'm doing that what I'm then doing you want to kind of separate the rind sometimes if you if you're struggling you just take a little piece off so you can see what you're working with there um, what you want to do is you want to separate the rind from the fat layer so um and upon doing that what is then going to happen is that in separating the rind from the fat layer and accessing or exposing that fat layer this is the part that we're going to glaze and literally the easiest way to do it even if you're doing it with a really big uh, leg of ham is with your finger i'm just running it see it just kind of it's like taking off a you know, taking off a jacket or a shirt is you just kind of peel that all back really really simply so that's that's the first thing that we need to do is we remove the rind now up to you what you do with that rind let's turn them around what's happening over here yep keep going F look fingers work really good obviously they need to need to be clean fingers beep, beep. and that's done like that so that is now off so we'll just go ceremoniously cast that to the side <laughs> because what I actually want to deal with is on this side. Now, bear with me because I don't have a tea towel. Give me two seconds, please. Running for a tea towel. There it is, got it. So, yeah, so bear with me. Apologies for that. Sometimes I am not as organized as I think I am. So, right, we're back here with this guy. So, now that we've exposed this layer of fat, and yes, this is not 100% healthy, but this is a healthier version of a glazed ham. As you can see, there isn't a lot of fat on that. If you really wanted to be really healthy, you could actually completely remove that fat layer and just take it right back to the flesh, which starts there. But you know what? I'm actually going to just glaze that little fat layer up there. And the best way to do that is I'm going to start to make some little incisions here on the outside of the fat. So this is called scoring. And what I'm attempting to do is to create, without cutting right through, I'm literally just scoring the top layer of that fat. I'm cutting down on an angle. And what I'm gonna be doing, would you believe, is I'm actually going to be creating little diamonds. If you've seen a really traditional glazed ham, and that ham looks like it's got diamonds on it, chances are this is what the chef has done. Now I'm, now I'm cutting it on the angle again. And literally making these little squares you don't have to put too much pressure on here it is as i said it's called scoring not slicing right through and if you guys can see that i've actually got these little diamond sections here all ready to go so if you were doing a um a very traditional ham you may have seen that um, people grab like a clove a whole clove and they stick one into every single diamond you can do that if you want but the first thing we need to do is once we're at this stage here is we need to think about glazing um, our ham so we're going to glaze our ham and this is the glaze that i've got here so this is the healthy glaze and i'm going to share this recipe on bridget's kitchen tomorrow so you do have the quantities but just so you've got the technique today in this pot here i have low sodium tamari so that's what gives it that lovely dark color 
I also have, um, you can see these, this is just for flavor. These are called star anise and they are very similar to cloves. They give off a really amazing flavor. Now star anise has that sort of aniseed or licorice type flavor. Add it or don't add it, it's completely up to you. I had it in there when I brought the, um, the liquid to the boil. Now you might also notice that it's kind of looking a little bit on the thick side. That's because I have a couple tablespoons of pureed green apple in there. So I made a little apple sauce just with green apples and I pureed that. That's gonna help to give it lovely flavor, but it's also gonna help to give it a lovely um, caramelized glaze on the, uh, on the pork as we're cooking it. So that's in there. Um, as well as that, there's a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I have a little bit of uh, sugar-free Dijon mustard, mustard just, that's just for a little bit of flavor as well. And the last thing I've put in there is fiber syrup. So fiber syrup is, if anyone's watched my videos or seen my recipes, it is a um, prebiotic syrup, very similar to inulin powder, so it's good for gut health. It is an alternative to honey, maple, agave, molasses, all that sort of stuff. The best part about fiber syrup is, yes, it's good for our health, good for our gut, extremely low in calories. There's only like five calories per 100 mils. I've only got a couple of tablespoons in there. But it's got that wonderful sweetness. Not as sweet as sugar, but sweet enough, and it's going to help to give us a glaze. So taking up my little, my little brush, we're going to brush the glaze over. You may think I've got a lot of glaze in there for a very small ham. Well, once this goes into the oven, I'm actually going to continue to glaze it. So I'm going to glaze this every 10 minutes as it's cooking in the oven. So that's the next step, is we've got the glaze on. And, you know, and be fairly generous with your glaze. Um, you don't have to be stingy. It's Christmas, after all. You can be a little bit generous with your glaze. Someone just asked, where do we get that fiber syrup from? If you Google fiber syrup, it will come up. I purchased mine online, and the, the company that I use is called Surkin Australia. So that's spelled S-U-R-K-I-N. Um, they're based in Western Australia, and they can send you out some fiber syrup. Um, tell them that Bridget sent you. And um, they may even throw a few samples in there for you as well. So that is the start of my glaze. So I've glazed that. There's nothing stopping you from turning around and glazing it all over, even on this part here. Just give, you know, like I said, be generous. Christmas is a time of gener generosity. Hence why I'm giving away my e-cookbook, my healthy Christmas e-cookbook with 31 recipes, one for every day of, day of December for you guys to have a little look at. So now that we've got the glaze on there, we need to think about putting it into the oven. And what I am doing with putting it into the oven is I'm actually using what is behind me here. So I have a roasting tray. Inside that roasting tray, I have some nonstick baking paper. That's just to help with cleaning. And another healthy way that you can, um, that you can, another way that you can ensure that your ham's a little bit healthier than normal is I'm actually putting the ham on top of a wire rack. So what then is going to happen is the, the fat's actually going to drip away into there, not sit in, you know, if, if I was just to put the ham straight into the roasting tray, what would then happen is that it just sits in the fat that renders out as we're cooking it. So I'm at this point now. I'm going to take this over to the oven, and I've got the oven set on 160 degrees Celsius, which is 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is going to stay in there. Remember, it's fully cooked already, and we're just doing the glaze. This is going to stay in the oven for around about... 40 to 45 minutes and I am going to be glazing it regularly like every 10 minutes I'm going to be putting taking it out and putting some more glaze on so we really begin to develop that wonderful glaze and crush so I've not don't expect you guys to sit around and wait for me <laughs> for 40 minutes when I put that in the oven and it cooks I reckon you come back or keep an eye out on my page I will do part two of glazing a ham to show you what the final uh, result is um, in around about 40 to 50 minutes so um, keep an eye out for that thank you for watching don't forget if you want to enter my competition to win one of five copies of my digital e-cookbook I wish you a healthy Christmas <laughs> let me know in the comments below and you go into the drawer I'll be drawing it tomorrow November the 14th at 2 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time all right guys see you in about 40 minutes